Hey guys, today I wanted to show you the few little things that I got at Torrid and Books A Million. First we'll talk about Books A Million. On Saturday they were having a penny a page for one book. So if it was 300 pages it was a $3 book. I picked up Finale by Stephanie Garber. This is part of the Carval series. I read the first one, I haven't read the second one or the third one, but this is a signed copy and also the second one was a signed copy. And then the first one I just got the normal book from there. So it's signed. The second one is two. They are already in boxes so I don't have them out and I can't read this one until I read the second one. And I'm probably going to have to read the first one again just to make sure I understand what's happening. So I guess probably one weekend or something I'll just start from the beginning and read the trilogy and then see what I think. I heard really good things about the second book and I know I loved the first book which is why I even wanted to buy the second one to start with because I never buy books. Carval I read originally as a library book and then I actually bought it because I really liked it and then I bought the second one and now I bought the third one. So this was the penny a page book I picked. This was $4.30 and it's originally a $20 book. So definitely awesome. Very happy I picked that up. I just don't know when I'm going to end up reading it, but uh, I have it, so that's good. They were also having a sale on their used books. It was buy one, get one free for your used books. What they did was um, split the cost between the two books. For the first one, it was the Whatever After Bad Hair Day by Sarah Lenowski, and Hauntings, The Secret Grave by Lois Ruby. That was the buy one get one free. So whatever after was $1.89, Secret Grave was 85 cents. That's how they kind of factored in the buy one get one free. And they look really really cool. I think I read one whatever after book. I really liked it. I love Sarah Mlanowski. Give Me a Call is my all-time favorite book. I haven't read it in a couple years. I'm honestly kind of scared to reread it because I don't want it to not be my favorite book anymore. I think it's so good. I love her writing and um, that was a teen fiction book but she's really been focusing on middle grade fiction which is what these are and they're like reimaginings of classic fairy tales and it's a series. So I picked that one up and I also picked up two more and that's Genie in a Bottle and Sugar and Spice. Genie in a Bottle was 73 cents and this was 135. So you can't beat these prices. I love that. I'm not sure which ones I have. I think I have Fairest of All and Sink or Swim. So I didn't want to pick those up because they looked very familiar. So I picked up the ones that I knew I didn't read. And I'm very excited to read those and see what they're like. I would definitely like to get like the full collection of her books just because I love I love her stuff and I know she's very, very good. So all together that came to $9.72. It looks like I saved an extra dollar. It looks like you also saved money on um, Penny a Page by also having your discount card. To my knowledge, this is the first time they've ever done Penny a Page. I don't know if that's true or not, but I've never heard of them doing Penny a Page before. And I love that they did that because the Millionaire's Club is $25 a year. And then if you don't use it very often, sometimes you don't get your money's worth. But things like this make it worth it. Like this was originally a $20 book and I saved $15.21 plus like an extra dollar. So I saved like $16 on this one book. And then when you get the Millionaire's Club, uh, if you do the auto renew, you get a $10 gift card. So that automatically brought it down to basically $15.00. And then just on that one book, I saved $15. So even if I got the discount card today and did the auto renew, I still would have evened out and basically gotten it for free. So that's awesome. I love that they do things like that. Also, the discount card is good online for free shipping. But you don't get the 10% off online, but there are better deals online than there are in the store anyway. But sometimes if you shop online, I've noticed that some of the stuff can be like creased kind of like this book, but it's a used book. See how the cover is creased? Sometimes new books will come in like that from Books A Million because they put 
like the receipt inside and it's like they crease it all the way open to put the receipt in so sometimes you got to be careful about that because I've pre-ordered books before and they've come creased and I'm like listen I don't buy brand new books or pre-ordered books often so when I do I want them to be pristine and sometimes they're not when that happened I just brought it in the store and was like uh yeah I want to switch this out for the same book because um, I'm not having my pre-order book creased. And then I just like switched it out for another book. But I worked there at that time, so I was like, unacceptable. And then I just like switched it out. But I'm sure if you just like go in there one day, be nice to them. But I'm kind of a little annoyed that my stuff came creased. You can just switch it out. I don't think anybody would care. And I also got some coupons, five off 25, which is basically always going on. You can pretty much always find that on Retail Me Not or maybe the Books A Million website. And I also got 50% off any prepared beverage. I don't go very often. The closest one is like 45 minutes away and I honestly can't believe I made that drive every day to go to work there. That's kind of crazy. Right now they have a Mike Wazowski lounge fly book bag and I want it so bad but it's $70. That is disgustingly outrageous. Lounge fly is a great brand and also it's Disney and Loungefly, so obviously it's going to be expensive, but like, mm, $70. So I'm hoping I can get some, some sort of good discount with that. Maybe they have some sort of like 20% off for millionaire members or something, because that is so much money, but I really want it. I'm keeping it on my radar, and whenever it goes on sale or something, I'm going to snatch it up. The next place and the last place is Torrid. We went to Books A Million and Torrid and the food court, but I can't show you what I got there because I ate it, so. I've never been to Torrid before, but I knew that it was expensive. I heard of Torrid from Sarah Ray Vargas, and my friend Monique had oat cash, so we went there for her to spend her oat cash, and I was just kind of gonna look, but I ended up buying a couple things. Became part of the Torrid Insider, and also I got some coupons. I only got two items and they were both on clearance because I cannot afford that full price. Where did I put my receipt? Well, either way, clearance was buy one get one free so I got two clearance items. One I already wore because I couldn't resist, it's so cute. It's this little shirt here, it's like a little cami top and the bottom is actually like layered so there's like another layer underneath that's a little longer than the top and it's super flattering and the front it's like that and then the back and I'm a size 12 so in Torrid I'm like this one's a size double zero and it fits and I tried some size ones on and they were too big I got this and that one was $28.98 on clearance and then the other top I got was this little awesome dinosaur shirt. This one was also a double zero and this was $21.98 and it was buy one get one free but the way they did it is they took like half off of each one basically so either way it came to $30. I just love this. That's such a cool shirt. It's got dinosaurs all over it. I really like Torrid. I think it's presented really well. I love the clothes that they have there. I honestly would probably get a credit card. I'd probably go there one day and just like buy whatever I wanted and then get the credit card and get the savings that way. And also when I find my receipt, if you do the survey on the bottom, you get 10% off and that stacks on all your coupons. So that would stack on top of the credit card, on top of any of these coupons, it would stack on everything. So that is super cool. Definitely thinking about maybe doing something like that and then hopefully I can just pay it off while I'm there because I have a bad habit of getting credit cards and then doing like the monthly payment every month and never paying it down because you're basically paying the interest. <sighs> I'm not good at credit cards, but I love them. That's everything that I got at the mall. Just a couple items, but I wanted to share them with you because I never really go shopping that much, and when I do, I like talking about what I got. I never ask for bags when I go places, but I didn't have any reusable bags with me, so I did get some bags, but look how pretty this bag is. And I love how, like, 
accepting they are at Torrid. In the fitting rooms, it has like nice things written everywhere, like compliments. And then when you go to the front, there's like a sign there that's like, talks about mental health and like has a number to call. I love that because I know when I gained weight, I got like pretty self-conscious about it. And I know that a lot of people have that issue too. So it's really great that they have like positive messages everywhere and they're like, it's okay, you're still pretty, you're beautiful and everything. I just love that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you wanna and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.